With us in the studio now is Steve Zalewski, and he is an artist. Um, I want to say sculptor, because once you find out what he sculpts, you're going to be so amazed. Welcome to our show. Thanks, Donna. So tell us how your art career began. Basically, I always like to create things. I found it as a, uh, a fun way to get attention. I used to make little treasures from my teachers in school as a child. And uh, I just love to create things. And my dad had a wood workshop in his basement. And he used to let me use his tools. And he used to make little wooden things. And my mom did paintings and played music. So I've kind of like got all the talents in the family rolled into one. So I do performance art where I, I play music in my self sculptures. You're a harmonica player too, right? Yeah. Is that what you play? Or do you yes. play other instruments sometimes? Or I play guitar and bass guitar and piano and drums. You know, I go to a lot of clients' homes and they all have the big pianos. I say, well, who plays the piano? You know, and they look at each other. I said, well, you know, we take a little lessons. And so I sit down and I start playing something. And I make up a song for them. There's like a baby grand sitting there. Yeah. Like somebody would have a, a print like a on their wall, right? It's like a sculpture in the, in the uh, <laughs> big living room, you know. That's pretty funny. Now, I know that you didn't originally go to school for art. You went for, was it mathematics or science? Engineering at okay. Stony Brook. I had a scholarship. And eventually, I just got tired of doing calculus. You know, it was, didn't really gel with me. You know, my favorite mathematics was more geometry. I loved proving the theorems, and I loved that you could use it to do carpentry and building. Because, you know, years ago I used to build sets on, in Manhattan for TV commercials and build props. And uh, so I kind of got started in a sculptural form. Because when I was younger, I used to do a lot of painting, a lot of experimental things with watercolors and oils. And uh, I never really found my niche in the painting world, in the art world as a painter. But when I started doing sculptures and showing them in the Hamptons, I found my niche and I've been successful and it got me around the world. And speaking around the world, you have something that is a sphere, a human sphere. Tell us about that because it looks like a globe, a moving well, people it's a, globe. Well, it's a globe made out of people. So it's kind of the, uh, symbolizes cooperation and the community of the world and harmony where we're not in war world, we're in love world. You know, I'm an idealist. I can't help it. I'm an artist, you know. And I, I tend to dwell on the, the good aspects of life. I'm not filled with a lot of angst and, and dread and horror. And I'm a happy guy. You know, I just love my life. Grew up here on Long Island and always was boating and surfing and enjoying the good life here on Long Island, you know. So I'm, I'm a happy guy. So I do. Happy sculptures. <laughs> when you see them, you do feel happy. Um, have you ever had like a, oops, have you ever tried to like start out with something and then say, okay, you know what, I've got to recycle that into something else? Not with sculpture. Okay. But with painting, of course. You know, you can muddy colors. And once it's mud, it's hard not to, to unmuddy it. So you, you start over. With sculpture, I generally, I do some improvisational pieces where I'll start from the bottom and just build and just make it up as I go along. But most of the time, I have an idea in my head, and I'll draw it on paper till I perfect it, and then I'll translate it into three dimension into metal. It's kind of like word working, don't they say? Measure twice, cut once. Is it a similar thing? You, you bet, especially right. when you're working with expensive materials. And where do you get your raw source material from? Like from uh, a lumber all different yard sources. Or a steel I mill? Uh, started with cedar that was left over from homes I was building in the Hamptons, and then I translated to. Uh, I met another sculptor, Stephen Solomon, who showed me how to weld aluminum. So I've been doing aluminum welding and bronze welding and stainless steel welding for the past 30 years. Now, is there a particular sculpture that you're really intently proud, in, uh, proud of? Is it something that just All comes them, to mind? Really. You know, Everyone's a different. I think the uh, human sphere is the most creative because it's interactive. I was in a show on Saturday at the Power Play show in Bridgehampton at the Hayground School. And I brought my sphere, it's seven feet in diameter, with, has a hole cut in it. And you can see through it because it's all people holding hands together. And uh, lots of people besides me also rolled it around the fields at the Hayground School. And it's a lot of fun. Everybody loves it. You, know, you can't just help but have a good time. So this uh, German fellow I know, Ernst Luker, 
included me in the play art movement, which is a lot of uh, sculptors from around the world who also make interactive sculpture. So uh, he included me in that, and I was happy to be there. Congratulations, that's, that's what fabulous. I did. That's really great. So you sculpt and you play and you travel. Yes. Sounds like a lovely life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lucky, that's for sure. Now, how do clients find you? What is your website? How can they have a piece customized for them? Uh, ZalewskiSculptureStudios.com is on the web, and my contact information is there, as well as a selection of different styles of art that I've created. You know, I get bored easily, so I don't stick with one thing all the time. I like to change and invent. Part of my, my uh, Stony Brook experience was being an experimenter. I love experiments. You know, as a chemist, I do chemistry experiments, and it's like cooking, you know? When you find the things that you like, you mix them together, and you're always making something new. There you go. And that's what makes life exciting. <laughs> well, it sounds like we have a lot in common. Uh, to find out more about Steve and his wonderful art, you can check out liveituptvshow.com, and we're gonna have a link to this wonderful artist. Thank you so much for being here. I wanna do that sphere sometime with you. Okay. I, I do, I, not, not just my kid Elise, man. I wanna get in there. <laughs> Roll it around. <laughs>